obviously all those extra classes and certifications and webinars, I'm sure that the vast majority of that is not required for you to be doing. So what's your personal motivation for 20 years into the business, not resting on your laurels and continuing to learn and grow? Like I get you want to provide a better product to the customer, but what's like the deeper motivation behind why you would put yourself through all that additional effort? My motivation for all the extra classes, webinars, et cetera, is because I love to learn. I tell people all the time and I tell, I have three kids that work for me here in the office. I tell them, Hey, we're going to do it dad's way. And then if you have a different way, we will certainly try it. And if it works great, because I'm not the end all be all. I learned a lot from other people. We, the human race has been building homes for how long? I have no idea, but everybody is going to learn from the next generation and the next generation is going to learn from, from me. So I don't want to just sit here and say, Hey, I have it all figured out because every day there's some kind of small problem or unique issue or something where two different products have to mesh together and we're trying to figure it out. I want to learn about it before I do it, instead of going through the problems of actually going through it and trying to figure it out and spending money that I didn't have to and wasting a customer's time or efforts. I love that. And I love that your motivation for learning is intrinsic, right? And I think that's a, well, just a wonderful attitude in general, but I think that customers and prospects will relate to that because then it shows them that you're doing this work, not because it's just a living or because that's what you do, but it's because it's what excites you. It, it's what drives you. When I was in the military, I got to visit, you know, all through Europe. And when you go into Switzerland, Vienna, when you go on these and you're seeing these beautiful, like you said, the beautiful cathedrals, or you go into this uh, town center where everything just looks like picture perfect and out of a, a movie and you find out it's hundreds of years old and you're trying to imagine how did they do this? We can't even do it like this. And we have power tools and saws and lasers and all this stuff. It, it's amazing. We live very close to Charlottesville. We have Monticello here the eight, from the age of Thomas Jefferson. Yeah, the revolutionary period. There's so many things around Fredericksburg and Charlottesville that we can see going up to DC and seeing some of the buildings and how they're built. And you just imagine and it blows your mind. How did they do this? I know it was a hundred times the labor. And can you imagine just being one of those people that took this piece of wood and transformed it into this door or this, this kind of baseboard. It's just amazing. One piece probably was a hundred hours where now we go to the store and we pick it up. People just think that building a home is like straightforward and simple and boring and it can be, but I don't think that's what really excites people. And I don't think that's what lights people up. And I love seeing you get so animated and excited talking about this. As you can tell, I have genuine passion for it as well. And I think that rubs off on people and it makes them excited to work with you. And